to read to you. The Holy Spirit just brought this back to my spirit of prophecy that was given to me. This was January. This was 2017. And God says, For prophet, I have married this world. I have entered the covenant and the mission of this union is as I seek to bring order to my church. That is only by the true love of God that the power of deception on this generation can be broken. The Lord spoke to me. He said, this was in 2017, the first year of our church. He said, the Lord said, prophet arise, fill my heart for the church. I shall marry you to the world. I, I shall marry you to the world. God says, I have married the world. I shall marry you to the world. I hear Mama McCray used to always say, you will, marry the, you, will, you will marry part of the world. You will marry part of the world. God says, I shall marry you to it. I shall betroth you. I shall, <laughs> Jesus. Because listen, did you know that when you get married, to be married, you get married three dimensions of marriage, the spirit, soul, and the body. Many Christians are only married in one of two places, in the soul in the body many are still working out the salvation of their own marriage to actually be married in the spirit to be married in the spirit you see that you see how even your marriage is a process did you know when you get married a new person is born uh, the bible says you become what one flesh I'm not talking about the babies I'm talking about your marriage when you get married your marriage becomes a new person so this is why when you get married and you say well I did this and I got saved and I've been saved this long that don't matter when you get married that don't matter it goes out the window because now you become one person together so now your marriage has to carry a salvation your marriage has to carry a salvation on its own. Outside of what you did and outside of what they did or how long this or how long that, together a new thing starts. Do you see that? So to be married in that dimension. So then there's a part of your marriage that is going through deliverance is going through deliverance but it's a picture of the church <laughs> let me help you <laughs> can I burst somebody's bubble I love when we talk about the bride of Christ but we got it wrong we thought the bride of Christ We thought the bride of Christ was the church in its perfection. Go read your Bible. God tells you time and time again that he married her in her blood. He married in brokenness. He married even in uh, infidelity. He married her. He went and he got her in her sin. In her sin, in 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 in, in her un, in in her unfaithfulness, he he went back and got her. He tells the story time and time again. God said, "I married the world," and He said, "I shall marry you to the world. 
I shall marry you to the world. God says to me, I shall cause its enmity to come against you. I shall cause its enmity to come against you. But the Lord says, my love is greater. My love is greater. God says, intercessor, arise. Feel the birth pangs of my love. That they may press you into prayer to bring forth my will in the earth in this generation. Then the Lord took me into a vision. Then the Lord took me into the word. And God said, I will make the stony heart a heart of flesh. And I heard the Lord say, watch and see. Ah, I'm talking to somebody. I hear the Lord say, watch and see as I turn the hearts. You shall be an example to the nations. My spirit shall convict the heart of the nations through my love, says the Lord. God said to me, my mercy shall be extended to the nations through my love. First, my grace shall be extended to the nations through my love. Then my judgment. But a generation shall turn and countless numbers shall come to me, says the Lord, in the last days before judgment fully falls. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Come on, somebody praise the Lord.